Storm Team 3 weather with Audrey Pentecost. Hi, I'm meteorologist Audrey Pentecost. And I'm Ivy Shank. And we're going to go through some 906 Weather Watchers pictures. It is the first day of October, and I like to call that spooky season. So I did wear my spooky <laughs> earrings. They have little ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns. And it looks like it was pretty spooky out there today in Grand Marais for Paul K. Peterson. You see this fog mm -hmm. rolling in. It is spooky. I believe you actually called it today Halloween first. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I like to say it's Halloween first, and then there's, you know, the however many days of Halloween. So. <laughs> kind of like Christmas too. <laughs> but yeah, I think this is a really, this is a fun picture for October, I think, because it is a little bit spooky uh, with that fog rolling in. And this is from Rebecca Bartlemay, Our local very own. Rebecca Bartlemay, and she was out on Teal Lake today in Nagani, and that is just a gorgeous picture with the fall colors in the background mm -hmm. on the lake. Just look like an absolutely beautiful day, especially with those warm temperatures. Uh, it has been a very warm day, and you'll see it looks like a lot of people are out there enjoying this weather. Mary Ann Blower's Taylor was in Nama out on maybe a river or a lake as well and it just looks absolutely beautiful out there as well. Are, have you gotten to uh, enjoy this warm weather or are you going to get to? I'm hoping to tomorrow. I have tomorrow off so I'm hopefully, hoping to get out and take a walk or do something to get, get some vitamin D before <laughs> all the snow comes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely and then we have this from Local 3's Allison Powell in Marquette. This sunset is just absolutely beautiful. Mm, beautiful. I missed it a little, though so I wish I did see this in person. Beautiful cotton candy skies yeah. out there. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. And we can go ahead and take graphics. It looks like we're seeing a couple of rain showers towards the west, but those will start to clear out tonight with mild to warmer temperatures tonight and warmer weather continuing over the next few days. For your high temperatures from today, we did see, again, above average temperatures with 83 in Iron Mountain, 75 at Sawyer International. Your temperatures right now have not cooled off much since then, mostly sticking around uh, the 60s still, even 78 still still in Ironwood. Those temperatures will not fall down too much further as well for tonight. Still sticking around the 60s mostly for uh, most of us across the UP. 60 degrees at Sawyer International, 58 in Iron River. And for tomorrow, it's going to be another hot day for this October. 81 in Marquette, 80 degrees in Barraga, 84 degrees in Ironwood. Um, it, the, around this time of year, we should be seeing temperatures more into the upper 50s and into the 60s. So it is definitely warmer than average. And for your overnight lows on Monday, still seeing those pretty mild to warmer temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Your Tuesday still seeing those temperatures that could potentially break some records as well. So this whole uh, these next few days we could see some record breaking temperatures if we go over uh, definitely over 80 degrees. For your uh, Wednesday those temperatures are going to start cooling off just a little bit. However, we could still get some temperatures still approaching 80 degrees, 78 in Menominee, 76 in Iron Mountain, and 76 at Sawyer International. For future weather, we're just going to see some clouds moving in and out of the area over the next few days. And again, for your Monday and Tuesday, it's going to be pretty nice out there. Go out and enjoy those temperatures while they're still here because it is fall and those temperatures are going to continue to fall as we get further into the season. For your Wednesday, that's going to be our next chance for those rain showers. And for tonight, lows in the 60s, mostly 60 62 in Marquette, 60 degrees in Escanaba and Gladstone, 60 degrees in Iron Mountain, and 64 degrees in Houghton and Hancock. For your seven-day forecast in Marquette, 84 degrees is your high for tomorrow, 80 degrees on Tuesday, and 75 on Wednesday. This is going to be our first day where we're going to see those rain chances and also those temperatures start to drop mostly closer to normal by your Thursday, 63, and even a little bit more closer to normal for Friday and even under for this weekend. For Escanaba and Gladstone, 78 is your high for Monday, 76 on Tuesday, and then cooling down after that as well with your next rain chance starting on Wednesday and even getting into the 50s for this weekend in Iron Mountain. 85 is your high for tomorrow, so pretty warm and Tuesday still staying warm with 80 degrees on your Tuesday. Slight rain chance returns on Wednesday with 74 as your high and those temperatures will continue to drop as well. Even a little bit cooler than normal with those rain chances continuing into this weekend with temperatures in the 50s also for this weekend in Houghton and Hancock. 85 is your high for Monday, warmer in the afternoon. 82 on Tuesday and then cooling off after that as well. 74 on Wednesday with your next rain chance into the 60s on Thursday and then down into the 50s to end your week.